Hey guys, Eric here from worshipbanduniversity.com and today we're going to wrap up our series one of how to use Ableton Live in a worship set. What we're going to do is use all the things that we learned in the last three videos and create a worship set. Now just to recap, we have our click turned on. We have a click only channel here that is muted. We have our Q channel where audio two is set to EXT out number one. We have our loop channel here with EXT out set to number two, our MP3 muted, and our master track set up over here on the side, along with our Q out set to number one. So let's start dragging in some songs. Let's bring in a live that we did before in the other demo. Bring in our cues, our track, and our MP3. We're then going to rename that track to a live, set the beats per minute to 132, and set the time signature to 44. We are then going to color code the track so that's all the same. And we are also now going to warp the loop and the cues by highlighting them both, setting the tempo up here on the top left to 132, then warping them both. Now that that's done, our click is ready to go. One, two, intro, two, three, four. Now that that's all set, let's bring in a couple of the songs. Let's also bring in Closer by Hillsong. What I'm going to bring in is the cues, the track in the key of B, and then also our MP3 in the key of B as well. Rename track two to Closer. It's 120 beats per minute in 4-4. Four, four. I'm going to change these to this color yellow here so it's a little bit different and easy to find. Again, I'm going to go to my loop and my cues, highlight them both, set this to 120, and then warp them both. This one should also be all set. One, two, intro, two, three, four. Great. The last two songs in our set, we are going to do click only. So first we're going to do is I'm going to name this track. Um, let's do How He Loves. And this song we're going to do 75 beats per minute. And this one we're going to do in 3-8 because I want to do it basically in 3-4, but I want the click to count the eighth notes. Hence we have 3-8 over here. Now remember, when we're doing a click-only track, what we need to do is double-click on the click-only column and insert a blank MIDI file over here. So basically this is doing nothing but tricking Ableton to think that there's a track here. Again, I'm going to change the color on this to this cool blue. And I should be able to play it. And lastly, let's do one more song. We're going to do How Great Is Our God. This is going to be in 76 BPM and 4-4. Once again, I'm going to double click in the click only track. And I'm going to put a, a file there, which again is a blank MIDI file. Then I'm going to right click and we're going to change it to this purple color over here. And basically, I have a set over here. Let's see, make sure this is working as well. Great, so all my songs are in working order. Now, one final thing that you can do, and we'll talk more about this in other sessions too, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a key for each of these songs. Now, if I'm in the middle of worship set, I can simply click on each of these play buttons. I can click on the song and use the space bar as well, but sometimes that's a little bit of a hard thing to do while you're in the middle of a worship set and trying to reach over and hit different buttons and stuff. So what we can do is set a key for each of these. Basically on the keyboard, I want to be able to press one, two, three, and four and start the songs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right up to the top here and press key. We're then going to go click on the first song and press number one on our keyboard. If you look, number one shows up right over here. That means when I'm out of the key mode, when I press number one, it should play this track. One, 
Pretty cool, right? I'm going to do the same thing with the other song. So I'm going to click key. Closer, I'm going to make number two. Great is our God will be number four. I'm going to get out of key mode by hitting key again. So now if I hit number one, it should be alive. One, two, intro, two, three, four. If I hit number two, it should be closer. One, two, intro, two, three, four. If I hit number three, it should be the click for how he loves. And if I hit number four, it should be the click for how great is our God. So we not only have now a worship set, but we have a really easy way to play all the songs just by the click of one button. So have some fun, make up a bunch of worship sets, save them, try different ideas out, and we'll see you guys for some more advanced techniques in how to use Ableton Live in a worship set. See you guys.